Welcome, this Monday morning it is such a joy as always to see you all. And we're going to do a breath practice today. There's plenty going on this week with the full moon at the end of the week. We are definitely in the throes of transitioning from autumn to winter, here in the UK anyway. Morning Christina. Morning. Morning Susanna. Morning Emily. Morning. And the clock's going back. You know that you're getting into winter, don't you, when the clocks go back? But it does make getting up a little bit earlier, um, a little bit easier, doesn't it? So that's the plus. So let's come to sitting in a comfortable position spine straight. If you want to lie down, you're welcome to lie down. And we're going to take our cues from the autumn leaves falling everywhere, showing us what grace and serenity letting go can bring. Morning, Cindy. Morning, Cindy. Okay, so dropping the eyelids. going to mute everyone just so you don't need to worry about your noise. Dropping the eyelids. Noticing your breath. Tuning inwards, tuning your awareness inwards. Excuse me. If you are sitting, you might notice by pressing the sitting bones down, you can lift your spine a little taller, like you're creating minuscule amounts of extra space between each of your vertebrae. And if you engage Mula Bandha, the lifting up of the pelvic floor, then that brings some strength to the front of the spine. The tummy button pulls gently in, nothing's strained, nothing's forced. But your core is connected to holding you in this moment. And you're breathing through the nose if your nose will allow you to. Your tongue is pressing gently up into the roof of your mouth. And the corners of your mouth, the corners of your eyes are soft. For this moment, there's no agenda, there's no need to push yourself. It's more a, a moment of immense self-care and compassion. And we do our breath practices to nurture and nourish ourselves. We're not doing them to get better at something. And we're using this next 30 minutes to release all that no longer belongs to us. The stories, the narratives, the habits, the behaviours, the perceptions, the illusions, all the old stories. Use your exhale to release them and let them go. Let them become the compost for your future, the rich soil into which you can plant your dreams your visions, the way you want to feel. And also offering the exhale up as a gift of thanks, giving back to the plants so that they can take that carbon dioxide 
and alchemize it into oxygen. This is beautiful two-way stream of oxygen and carbon dioxide. Inhaling that oxygen, exhaling that carbon dioxide so that the plants and nature can inhale the carbon dioxide and exhale oxygen. It's like an infinity sign between you and the plants. All that no longer serves you is in fact the medicine and the nourishment for nature around you. So hand it over. Trusting that what you need will come in its place. There will be oxygen for your next breath. The new shoots of leaves and blossoms will inevitably arrive in the spring. So see if you can start to lean into the exhale. And actually let's bring our arms into play. So even if you're lying down, you can do this. As you inhale, you're gonna take your arms wide like you're tracing the circumference of the moon as she becomes more and more full this week. Coming into fullness on Saturday in time for Halloween. All Saints, Samain. Exhale as the hands come down through the front of your body towards the earth. And let that exhale be longer. Soft hands, soft bones, inhale, sweeping the arms wide and up. Exhale as the hands come down. Inhaling as the arms come wide and up. And exhaling as the hands come down. As you surrender, inhale, taking the arms up. Can you befriend yourself? Be gentle with yourself. Sometimes it doesn't feel so easy to let go. Inhaling as the arms come up. Exhaling as the arms come down. Excuse me. And bringing your arms to your side, you're going to have, make your hands into a gentle fist, keep your elbows tight to your side as you bring the, uh, the hands in towards you. And then as you exhale, you're going to press your palms away in front of you. <coughs> Excuse me, a little sneeze fit. Inhale as you come, bringing your hands in, elbows tight. Exhale as the palms press forwards. Let that movement be slow and conscious. Bringing your hands down into your lap. Circle your shoulders. Inhaling as the shoulders come up, exhaling as the shoulders come down. And 
and then wriggle the heart. If you're lying down, just take a wriggle from side to side. If you're sitting, take some circles. If you're lying on the ground, you can just experiment with pressing the heart back towards the floor and then arching it up towards the sky. Feeling that fluidity in the spine. If you're sitting, switch directions. And then coming back to centre. If you're sitting, then actually if you're lying also, turn your palms to face down towards the earth so that we're grounding. The palms are very much an energetic extension of your heart. So wherever you're placing your palms, it's like you're taking a travel pack of your heart and placing it there. So as your palms face the floor, you're really connecting in with the earth beneath you through the yoga mat through the cushions through the flooring of the building through the foundations of the building and into the soil like the roots of a plant take your awareness to each part of your foundation the parts of you connecting with the floor maybe that's the sitting bones and the ankles and the heels, maybe that's the shoulders, back of the head. Allowing the earth to energetically come up to meet you and hold you and cradle you. Like an old friend embracing you. And we'll do some Viloma breath to allow that surrender to go even deeper. So Viloma is the one long inhale, followed by three short exhales. The first exhale comes from the space of the collarbones. If you wish, you can bring your hands up and just tap along the line of your collar to help you to sense and feel. The second part comes from the lower ribs. You might want to wrap your hands around your lower ribs. You can sense and feel your breath there. And the third part comes from the very deepest part of the belly, so placing your hands over your tummy. And feeling the breath there. And I'm going to talk through five rounds and then leave you to continue the practice at your own time because what's more interesting is how you adapt the practice rather than I tell you to do the practice. So let's start with an exhale collectively together. Everybody exhale. And then one long inhale. Exhale one from the collarbones. Exhale two from the ribs. Exhale three from the belly. Long inhale. Exhale one. Exhale two. Exhale three. 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 Continue at your pace.
the breath return back to its natural place. without agenda, just witnessing what your breath wants to do. Starting to feel into the space between the breaths. So the little moment at the end of the inhale where the lungs are full, just resting in that space. Before you then exhale fully and at the end of the exhale, just resting in that space where the lungs are empty. I'm just curious for yourself as to where the ease is, where's the comfort? How does it feel to be in those places? And then we're going to move into a pyramid breath. So only if this feels comfortable to you, if it doesn't feel comfortable, just stay with the observing the space between the breaths. And otherwise, picturing a triangle in front of you. The inhale is the incline of the pyramid. The exhale is the downward journey. And then the hold is the space along the bottom. And we're going to do an even count of all three. Like I say, if it feels uncomfortable, then drop back into just observing your breath in those four stages. So let's all together take a nice deep exhale. Inhaling one, two, three, four. Exhale one, two, three, four. Hold two, three, Four. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Inhale, one. Exhale. Hold. So we're doubling the base. Inhale. Exhale. And hold. Inhale. Exhale. Hold. Inhale. Exhale. Hold. your own pace, carry on. Inhaling and exhaling. 
exhaling at the pace that suits you, holding the empty lungs for just a bit longer. Don't even need to count it if you don't want to. Just feel into your breath pattern. Just with a curious mind, watching where your breath takes you when you take away the rules, when you take away the count. How does it adapt? That pyramid breath. And then letting the breath drop back to its natural place. Noticing for yourself where you feel, what you feel in your body. Soften the corners of the mouth into a smile. Soften the corners of the eyes. Start to wriggle. Any part of you that would like to wriggle, maybe stretch it. And coming into this Monday more finely tuned to that internal environment so that the day can unfold from there. Namaste, everybody. Have a gorgeous day. Thank you for joining. See you tomorrow for some yoga. <laughs>